Back to school is in full swing, but this time of year doesn't have to be all about spending. It can also be about making smart investments. So here to get you thinking outside of the box and explain home ownership mm -hmm. as an investment is Senior Vice President of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage, Lee Maris. We're going to talk Good about that, there. especially for kids going off to college. Oh, yeah. Would it be smart to buy a home mm -hmm. in that college town? They'll talk about that. Back to school is in full swing, but this time of year doesn't have to be all about spending. It can be about making smart investments. Here to get you thinking outside of the box and explain home ownership as an investment is Senior Vice President of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage, Lee Maris. From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Well, back to school is in full swing. A lot of parents have been feeling it on their wallet, stressing out this time of year. But it doesn't have to be all about spending. It can be about investing and kind of thinking outside of the box. So here to talk about home ownership, maybe as an investment, is Senior Vice President of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage, Lee Maris. Good to see you, Lee. Thank you. Glad yeah, to be here. Good to have yeah. you. Let's talk about this time of year. First of all, just is it a good time to look for a house, whether it's your home or a second home? Well, according, you know, my business, it's always a good time. I mean, that's us. what you would say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know. Yeah, I think it's a good time. I mean, it's a busy time of year, kids going back to school, et cetera. But uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, you yeah. Know? And you're really talking about maybe that second home. You've got your mm -hmm. major, your primary uh, residence, yeah, primary right? residence, that uh -huh. second home to maybe invest in. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what better place than a college town, maybe? Right. You know, you've doesn't always have got to be people. Hot Springs. It doesn't have to be Hot yeah, Springs. It can be Fayetteville, right. Russellville, Conway, yeah. um, Jonesboro. So, yeah, especially mm -hmm. if your kid is moving off and Absolutely. you're starting to look at apartments or mm -hmm. renting. I mean, it's right. so much smarter maybe to go buy. It can be. Um, like we were talking about a minute ago, I don't know if you want to rent a house to four college boys, <laughs> you know, necessarily. But, right. uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if in, if you can, you can actually even put your child, if they're 18 or older, on the mortgage, mm -hmm. help them build credit. Right. Um, and, you know, if they got three or four friends that want to rent a room, then, you know, basically your kids rent living rent free yeah yeah I mean, I mean I was thinking about my kids or, or nieces when they had homes it just seemed like it rotated between yeah. student college yeah. students mm -hmm. you know so I mean that's easy money right easy money and you know and you're hoping for appreciation uh -huh. and if you can buy a house in or around a college campus I yeah mean, you've got a built-in clientele yeah I mean for sure shouldn't be very hard to rent there's it. always somebody looking yeah, for exactly. places yeah. places to stay do the high security deposit on the boys that's Absolutely. what you gotta do Absolutely. or don't put a whole lot of new pretty hard ones <laughs> yeah, in no, there yeah buy a cinder block house <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about interest rates where they are now and where do you think they're going you know everybody says they're going up they've gone up a little bit this year probably about a half a point okay you know on a 30-year loan we were probably at about four percent this time last year and we're about four and a half four point six right now uh -huh. so historically a lot of people out there who went through the 70s and 80s know interest rates at 18 percent right so historically we're still low, still low but a lot of people are a little bit shocked that they're not three and a half percent anymore mm -hmm. so but it's still affordable i mean it's yeah you know, it's good what about if you're looking and deciding 30-year or 15-year mortgage what what do you advise uh, you know if you can swing a 15-year do it you're mm -hmm. going to pay it off quicker but you're paying it off in half the time therefore your payments are going to be higher right so yeah. and there's no prepayment penalty you can always pay more on a 30-year loan and pay it off quicker if you want. Mm -hmm. If you ever have an emergency, you can fall back on that lower 30-year payment. Okay. So, you know, it's uh, we see a lot of 15-year loans though. Yeah, absolutely. And we can also do 20 and 25-year loans. Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah. So you just yeah. need to ask about that yeah, somewhere please, in between. Yeah. yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We can yeah. do, do it all. You name it. So, yeah. Okay. So if I'm thinking, can I afford that second home, or can I afford uh -huh. to, you know, uh, buy a college home? Right. Um, what What all will the mortgage company look at to see if I qualify? First and foremost, I mean, it, we're going to look at credit scores. Number one. Uh, I think everybody knows that. We're going to look at income. Mm -hmm. It's really income and credit. Um, it's income versus debt right you know and we're gonna look at it like that house is not rented mm -hmm. you know so you're not gonna guarantee I mean I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna have income coming right in, I mean, right can you make your five thousand dollar payment on your primary mortgage here right because I know you got that million dollar house. <laughs> no I don't uh, you haven't been <laughs> and, to my house right. and then but, and then yeah. you know can you make that that other payment on the investment property right even if no one's written it you have to be able to qualify for right. both as mm -hmm. as that yeah. goes and mm -hmm. then look at the return on your investment as well Absolutely. you say yeah like we're talking about i mean real estate most of the time appreciates so buying in, in or around in a college town is mm -hmm. probably a wise decision yeah i mean know? we're talking I mean, it, jonesboro fayetteville conway yeah 
all yeah. those places. Arkadelphia. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's two colleges in Arkadelphia. Absolutely. And I, I would think real estate in Arkadelphia would probably be pretty cheap. Yeah, that you could get I mean, in there and maybe get compared a Compared to deal. Fayetteville. Exactly. You know, so. so, okay, if somebody wants to come in and sit down with you guys, mm -hmm. sort of how does that all start? Or should you go to the website first? You can call 501-219-9100 or you can go to blrmortgage.com. Uh -huh. And there's uh, rate calculators on there. Right. Um, there's applications on there. I mean, however you want to do it. I a mean, pretty cool calculator that kind of works back, right? right. You can mm -hmm. say, okay, here's what I could afford to pay. Or I want to pay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> for a lot a of times note. people can, af can qualify for a lot more than they're comfortable paying. Right. So you kind of plug what you want to pay uh -huh. and back into it. Back into right. then what kind of mortgage Correct. then uh, right. can you go look for? Well, here's uh -huh. the information. You could start there on the website, get an idea, but uh, if you just feel more comfortable coming in and sitting down and talking to somebody, Absolutely. Uh, one of the bankers. Old school. Old school. They still do it old school <laughs> we'll if that's what you school. want exactly. at Bank of Little Rock Mortgage. There's a phone number on your screen and you also guys are on uh, Facebook and Twitter to help everybody out. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Thank we you. Appreciate good it. to see you again. Yeah, good All luck right. with those uh, college students yeah. out there, right? Right.